many of us at some point of time or another experience calamities, experience great difficulties. It looks like the world has come to an end. We all experience it at some point of time or another. We go through times of discouragement, at times of failure. But the important thing is, how do we face it? What is the attitude that you carry at that time? Especially, how do you use your tongue? It's so important because the enemy desires that when you are going through your calamity, you begin to get bitter not just with your situation, not just with people, but more importantly, with God. You begin to go to God and grumble and complain against God. In fact, when we open up our Bibles to Job, when we read Job chapter 2, it says there in verse 5, But stretch out your hand and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. You see, Satan's plan was not the possessions that uh, Job had, but his great plan was that Job would curse God. He wanted to prove to God that Job worshipped God only because of the benefits. But do you know, in all the loss that Job faced, he lost his wealth, he lost his children, he lost his health, even his wife went against him. But it says there in Job chapter 2 verse 10 at the end, it says, in all this, Job did not sin with his lips. That means he did not use his lips in a way that would offend God. He did not curse God. I want to encourage you in your calamity, in your crisis, guard your mouth. Guard your mouth. You need to understand that the words that you speak are very important. If you begin to get bitter, and grumble and especially speak against God, you will be doing exactly what the enemy desires. But on the contrary, in all this calamity, if you still choose to worship God, what you are doing is you are preparing yourself for a bigger blessing to come. When you read Job chapter 1, it says there, when Job lost all his wealth, he lost even his children. It says then Job chapter 1 verse 20. It says then Job arose and tore his robe, shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshipped. I want to encourage you. In your calamity, guard your mouth. When you feel things have gone out of your hand and you cannot, cannot control yourself. You feel that you've lost it all instead of using your mouth negatively. Go on your knees, lift up your hands and worship God. Use your mouth to worship Him. And I tell you, just as Job's latter days were greater than the former, so will yours be. God bless you.